My name is Sandy Campbell. I am a Bahamian born and raised in Nassau, Bahamas. I have lived here most of my life, uh, which I am very proud of because everyone's always like, oh, you're from the Bahamas. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Yes, I'm from where you vacation. <laughs> I'm an island girl, you know, into all things, boating, swimming, snorkeling, anything to do with island life. I absolutely enjoy it. I am a navigator and a boat captain by profession. Um, I got into the industry some 15 years ago. I studied at SUNY Maritime College in New York, and most of my career has been sailing on commercial vessels, um, specifically gas tankers. Vessels where we load gas in the Middle East, deliver them to countries like China, Japan, the UK. So it's been a very rewarding career and one that I'm very happy about. Sandy's suitcase started right around the time when I started working in the maritime industry. When I think about travel, my earliest memories of travel has been going to Miami, going any part of South Florida with my family. So I get into the industry and my first solo trip is I get orders to fly to the Philippines. Now I'm an island girl, I've only ever been to Orlando, Florida. So I was scared. I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Customs and baggage claim and all these things. And so I was just kind of thrust into this world of solo travel. I got back home and I was like, hey, that wasn't so bad. Like I flew across the world by myself. I was able to navigate everything and come back home safely in one piece. And then from there, it just started to become further destinations I was flown to for work and where I had to be. And so I started getting comfortable being able to jump on a plane and fly anywhere around the world by myself. So I started seeing all these amazing things and I started taking a lot of pictures and videos and sharing them with my friends and my family. And so my family wasn't really that interested, my friends weren't really that interested. So I started a travel blog, right? I started a blog where I would write articles and post about it online. And so I started connecting with other like-minded travelers and other persons who were interested in the information that I was sharing. And that's how Sandy's Suitcase was born. One of the things that I have noticed over the years is that, especially when I speak to schools or I speak to young people, they are always excited to see someone who looks like them. A big part of this journey for me has been all about representation. A big part of what I do has been to be that representation in an industry that is male dominated and in an industry that does not always have a lot of minorities. That's a part of what my brand has been about, has just been to show young people what is possible and some of the possibilities that are out there to them in non-conventional paths. And I hope that I'm succeeding in doing that at least to some degree.